Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boo Tay Tay, and I'm back with another video. Today, I might react to another video from Impressive called Drama Cardi B Lashes Out Again, Cardi B vs. Billie Eilish, Kim K gets dragged for channeling Marilyn Monroe, and Megan. Let's get into the dress. What's going on, child? Period. And before we get into the dress, make sure you gotta like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you gotta give this video a big thumbs up, shook. Period. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my solo channel. It's Tay Tay. Boop. Thank you. The link in the description below. Let's get into this reaction. Period. Oh, yes, that she was pretty. She pink cobble dress, and I thought her whole look was definitely giving Gilded Age debutante vibes. Yes. I loved her look, and I loved the fro. I thought that was cute. I also really like Gwen Stefani. Oh, look. that she Gwen Stefani looked different. This was a twist on the Gilded Age fashion. If you could see, she had a very puffy skirt. Mm, but I do that love was cute. the detailing around the skirt, and I do like the color. I like the fact that she chose something bright and fun, so... That was definitely one of my favorite looks. I also thought Gigi Hadid looked great. Yeah, that I was real cute. See, this some of the people they didn't even recognize. Details, not only on the coat, but the corset as well. She was wearing Versace, by the way. Period. And this was a very cool modern take on the whole Gilded Age fashion. So I was definitely here for it. I also liked Lizzo's look a lot from certain angles. Lizzo mm -hmm. wore a long brown outfit, and I love the detailing on the coat. The gold and the black looked very nice. Yeah, Lizzo looked real but pretty. Lizzo looked real pretty. In motion, I wasn't really a fan of the bottom. I, half. Yeah, the bottom I half. They could, the uh, they could have connected that together. Bottom, so. That was a major disappointment because from certain angles, the outfit looked like it would have been amazing, but that's all just mm -hmm. an illusion. Now, moving on, I want to talk about some of the R&B girls, starting with SZA. SZA was wearing a Violet Vivian Westwood gown, and this look was very dramatic in every sense of the word. I mean, yeah. she did a whole country western but it was still cute. age fashion. That she big ass like she in a saloon or on a pirate ship. She came with a poofy dress, a big hat, gloves, and boots. She was definitely doing the most with this one, but she stuck with the thing. Now, moving on, I want to talk about Normani. Normani wore this black two-piece Christian Seriano gown. I thought Normani definitely served with this look. I really like the design around her neckline and collar. And also, I like the ruffles and the makeup. Her glam team really did an excellent job with putting everything together. She looked like she could have been a flamenco dancer in the Gilded Age era, performing in a cabaret somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she definitely Not no Jocelyn Cabaret girl. Outfit, but I do like it. If I had one critique, though, I would have preferred if her skirt had a higher waistline. Mm -hmm. That would be my only critique. I feel like a higher waistline would have given her dress a little bit more shape. But I'm not mad at her for showing off her abs because she has the body to do it. Her body is sick. Now, moving on to Chloe Bailey's outfit. Chloe wore this golden abstract dress from Area. And this was a very, very unique. It was all right. The dress fashion. was all right. But face was uh, pretty. Futuristic direction. The shape of the dress was very exaggerated. But mm -hmm. she still incorporated some aspects from the theme. Yeah. She had the built-in corset and the puffy skirt and the dramatic collar. She wore this golden neck piece. And I thought yeah. that was a very creative take on the theme. The it edge is laid, Sham. Look. So I really liked it. I understood the vision, and I think Chloe and her glam team executed it very well. Now, the Kardashians' glam team did not care at all this year because every last one of them looked a mess. 
every last one. I think Courtney. Even Kendall was looking a little mid. Courtney looks good. I like that Courtney look because she looked like regular, but. Now, Kim Kardashian did something very interesting. She actually wore Meryl. Charmin Ultra Soft is twice as absorbent. So you can. I like Courtney's. Courtney's look good. Kim didn't look bad either. And this was obviously a cheat code. Kim knows that wearing Marilyn's gown was obviously going to get her a lot of attention. Right, she and that's what she did get attention. She didn't have to be creative. She didn't have to stick to the theme. All mm -hmm. she had to do was recreate like somebody else's look and get praised for it. Period. And I'm deviating from the topic a little bit, but I have to bring this up because I thought it was so weird. Kim was gifted a lock of Marilyn Monroe's hair. And I want you to see her reaction to this. This is weird. <gasps> what is this? That is Marilyn's hair. You can call her. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my God, I'm well? really going to do some crazy voodoo shit that I want to wait. And I channel her. This is sleeping with me every night. Sorry, babe. <laughs> So Kim says she's about to do some witchcraft and channel Marilyn Monroe's <laughs> spirit through her hair. She even brought up cloning. I thought this was very, very weird. Christ. And you see why Kanye had to get up out of there. You see Ooh. why? Because that whole family is into that dark magic stuff. Especially Kim. Tell. Kim is going to be doing some energy harvesting, whatever she does to keep herself relevant. But she's definitely going mm -hmm. to be channeling some stuff. She was not joking when she said that. Now, there were a lot of Maryland fans who were very upset with Kim because they feel like she's exploiting Maryland's legacy. They feel like but I feel like it wasn't bad, bad though. Yeah. To emulate her and trying to capitalize off of her. Some people they just don't doing feel extra like she's she. paying homage to Maryland, basically. This is just a way for Kim to suck the energy and life off of somebody else to stay relevant. But this is nothing new. Mm -hmm. Kim has been exploiting and stealing from people since forever. But she better be careful what she conjures up. Because right. Marilyn had a tragic end. So if Kim is trying to channel her, mm -hmm. she better be really careful. She right. could have the same end too. But I don't wish that on her. I rebuke that mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. But at the same time, she needs to be very careful. Because right. she'll mess up her entire life over that stuff. Moving on to Kylie. Kylie showed up in Virgil Abloh's off-white t-shirt gown, and this, of course, it, was a mess as well. And bless Kylie's heart. I didn't get it, too. I feel like she was trying to recreate the look that Beyonce did oh, no. back, but she just fell. And she added a snapback hat with a bridal veil, but it just didn't mm -mm. come together. The was dress was cute, the but now, the hat and stuff. I don't know. I think Nikki executed this style in a way that Kylie tried to do but mm -hmm. couldn't. Now Nikki wore a Burberry gown and she My wore a sporty B -B. and a large belt to cinch her waist kind of like a corset would do and she had a big poofy feathery train and she wore black leather pants. She also had black gems pasted mm -hmm. all over her body so the look was fly. It was definitely a more modern sporty urban take on Gilded Age fashion and I thought she pulled it off very well. She represented her New York roots while sticking to the theme. And yep. Nikki had one of the most tweeted looks of the night. Period. I saw that she had over 500,000 tweets. So she had a lot of people talking. And I think of people course. were just pleasantly surprised that she showed up. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about Cardi's look. Cardi wore this Versace gown. It was a golden dress with a lot of different embellishments and sequins and chains and heavy jewelry. When I first saw this dress, it didn't really scream Gilded Age fashion to me. It was giving me glamorous casino girl. That's mm -hmm. what it was giving me. But the dress is pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, it was There's pretty. A lot of great detailing on the dress. Mm -hmm. The way it was accessorized kind of reminds me a little bit of Chanel. Mm -hmm. But I liked all of the intricate details. But that was cute. I liked it. It's something that I haven't seen before, though. That's the thing. I feel like I've already seen different variations of this type of gold dress. So I wasn't super blown away by it. I think Cardi played it safe this year. She wasn't as flamboyant or over the top. And even though her dress was nice, her outfit as a whole didn't really stick out. Now, Megan Thee Stallion also wore a golden dress. She wore a Moschino gown. 
And I wasn't really blown away by this look mm -hmm. either. I thought Megan's makeup and hair looked nice. The glam was on point, but I'm not really a fan of the dress itself. But she did stick with the theme. I'll give her credit for that. Now let's get into some of the after party shenanigans. Now there was a video floating around of Megan Thee Stallion dancing with the model Cara Delevingne. And they were having fun and hyping each other up. But Kara was doing a little too much. She mm. was pushing up on Megan and Megan had And Megan looked good, fam. Uh-uh. We not doing that. Uh, well, <laughs> I thought she was trying to kiss her. At all. She looks very annoyed. And I wanted to talk mm -hmm. a little bit about this because it seems like a common thing where boundaries get crossed in Hollywood. This is why we have the whole Me Too situation now. But I think because Megan is so open and friendly with everybody and they see that she's the hot girl who likes to have right. fun and dance and party... They feel like they could try to take advantage of that and do hey, that hey. In personal space. It kind of reminds me of that time when Trey Songs tried to force Megan to drink. I didn't even know they were uh, hanging out. She looked a little buzz and she was like, no, nah, I don't want any drink. But Trey was trying to force that drink down her mouth. This situation is kind of You see a person who's trying to force themselves on Megan and she has to kind of push them away. So it's very awkward to watch. And I think Megan... Okay, so I didn't know that um some people were looking at that real good. I was like, okay, Gigi and uh Susan and all the other them girls that she saw in the first part, girl. Y'all did the damn thing with that. Um Nikki I was gonna look good. Kim, I, I don't know why y'all really have problem with that. It wasn't that serious show. So, um, Megan, um, girl, don't let people that gonna get over you like that. That's that's not cute because that girl shouldn't be need to be all on you like that. Especially, I don't care, drunk, sober, whatever, high, bitch. No, you don't want nobody all on you like that. No, that's not cute, girl. White girl wasted her, but um. Anyways, um, chill. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments, chill. I feel like everybody look good. Everybody did damn thing. I feel like um, next year, a lot of people hopefully they get their stuff together, especially the Kardashians. Girl. Even though I feel like Courtney was the one that really looked real good. She looked regular. No shy. But the rest of them sure good stuff for um, Kim. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what you guys want me, else want me to react to. And um, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to my solo channel. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to Impressive. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye.